Hello, and I'm the Dave, and this is my completely and utterly 100% unprofessional review, like completely unprofessional review of RimWorld. It's an alpha game, it's not available on Steam, I will link to the store in the description. Now, RimWorld is a game that's kind of like Nomoria, um, with the art style of Prison Architect. Uh, think of the old uh, Dwarf Fortress game, that kind of thing. It, and it, it, it pulls it off really nicely. I've seen attempts to pull this stuff off that haven't been that good. Uh, those of you that saw me play Nomoria know that I quite enjoyed Nomoria, but I didn't really go back to it. RimWorld, however, I've played pretty much every day since I've got it. Uh, it's, I can't think of a greater endorsement than that. Um, I've got Doom, I've got Uncharted, I'm playing Winworld. <laughs> yeah. So, right. Give you a, a brief overview of how you do things. Um, I, I did, as you can see, I've done another video. Uh, say I want to build a room, I've got structures, I click on the wall, like, uh, yep, we're going for wooden. So, this this is already a wooden wall, so I got that. I want a door, um, I want it to be uranium. Let's go for a marble block door. That will look nice and impressive. Now, you notice none of my people are particularly rushing to, to do this. Because um, you don't actually order them to do it. You don't. You can tell them. I can, I can wake me up. I can say, right, me. Go on, go do that. And I'll wake him up and off he'll go. But they'll do things of their own accord. Now, this is the save file that's uh, in my current Let's Play. I, I kind of need to restart my Let's Play in more manageable components like 40 minute videos rather than 2 hours here, 3 hours there, 1 hour there. But again, this is a game I've sat down and played for 3 hours non-stop and not got bored. I have literally almost passed out from sleep deprivation <laughs> because I've been addicted to this game. I've like, yeah, just, 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 just 5 more minutes. Yeah, I, I, I just need to get this, this sorted out. Now... Uh, Lunatic has gotten sick from the plague. Oh dear. Okay, Lunatic is named after my YouTube uh, Grove sponsorship. Uh, she's in charge of it. Uh, and she's now dying of the plague. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, Lunatic won't see this video. Um, I did notice in the last video, I'd, uh, last attempt at doing this video, she wandered over and she put on a hat, which was a, a monkey hide hat. <laughs> monkey hide cowboy hat. I had to force her to wear a t-shirt though. Um, each of these characters seem to have their own little tiny personality in certain things. Uh, they'll get on well with some people, they'll not get on well with others. Um, if we look at Lunatic and go to uh, character, we can see that a childhood was an apocalypse survivor, so that gives us certain bonuses. And an adulthood, they were a castaway, so that gives them certain other bonuses. And the lunatic has an unusual interest in chemical sources of enjoyment. She'll consume more than uh, more of them. She's likely to go on binges. But we've got no chemical enjoyment here, which is why my people keep going nuts. Uh, and she's also iron willed. Okay, and each character have their own little backstory, their own little quirks like that. So, yeah, that aspect very very good. Now let's just talk a bit about difficulty. I've got this game on the second level of difficulty, so the normal one basically. It is very difficult. My first colony got wiped out by one monkey. One monkey! <laughs> Damn dirty apes! Uh, <laughs> just wiped me out. Uh, second colony got wiped out by a cougar. There are some fun stuff as well. Um, these are medical beds, I don't know why they're sleeping in the medical beds. You can actually have them so that, um, like, let's see, let's take the mole for example. The mole in health, you see he's got a uh, scratch on his left leg. Uh, if I click on some of these guys, I think they've healed up. Sleeping sickness, uh, minor case of the plague. Um, <laughs> yeah, they can have a whole list of things. Uh, a little while ago we had a heat wave, tempers flared, um, and they just kept beating each other up. One of them would go nuts and just beat the hell out of the others. I, did, I had a situation where I didn't have one healthy person for ages. Uh, they kept coming back. They kept surviving. It really surprised me. But um, the mole on one of the one of the colonies we had, uh, the mole being my long-term co-host. Hello, mole king. Uh, he he had a shattered spine. Thinking 
hey, this game is alpha. Yeah, because he's bedridden. I thought, this game is alpha. Maybe if I'd perform two operations on him, namely install peg legs, I can trick it into thinking, it's fine, look, he's got new legs. So he was bedridden, broken spine, and we amputated his legs and put peg legs on. He didn't improve. <laughs> peg legs do not help a broken spine. So, I mean, what the hell do I do with him? What, what do I do with a, a guy I can't cure? This other colonist turned up who only had one nun. So, sure enough, I think you probably saw it in the list, I harvested his left lung. And uh, it sat in a little box for a little while and then eventually got put into the what, what is he doing? Oh, he's cleaning under the bed. Mole's a clean freak. Um, so, yeah. We put his lung in someone else, we used him as spare parts. I had a prisoner not too long ago who was very badly wounded. A group of merchants came uh, to trade with me, so I quickly harvested his left kidney and sold it to them. <laughs> you can be quite evil in this game. Uh, not that I would ever be evil anywhere else. Okay, so let's let's give it a few scores. First of all, multiplayer. There is no multiplayer. It is multiplayer is gone. No multiplayer at all. Okay, so can't score on multiplayer. Graphics. Now you may be looking at these graphics going, oh god, look how basic they are. They work. <laughs> you don't need fancy 3D amazing graphics to make a game be good. You need gameplay. Alright? Gameplay is higher than graphics. A lot of people don't seem to understand that. That said, this graphic style really works for it. I, I like it. Yeah, I like the graphic style of Prison Architect, which this is pretty much identical. Uh, it also means they can add more resources to the game a lot easier. They can add more items because adding graphics is pretty easy. Mods will be able to add a lot more stuff to the game because, yes, it has mod support. Um, that's a big plus to my opinion because uh, you can really boost a, a game by having mod support. Uh, I find a lot of modders can come up with things that developers don't even think of. Um, yeah, so that's good. So, graphics, huge plus. Gameplay, love the gameplay. It is really difficult. Like I say, one monkey. One, not, not, even, a, not even an educated monkey. It was a berserk monkey. And it beat my colonists to death. We had guns. We had knives. It used its tiny little monkey paws. And, and its tiny little monkey teeth. But, but it slaughtered all of my people. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> it's a difficult game. But a lot of people love the challenge and I don't think it's too difficult. So, yep. Cool. Thank you, BFC Woods. Even though I'm not actually live streaming right now. <gasps> That's my 100th follower! <laughs> so, just hit me. Yay! Live while doing a review. Uh, 100 follower on Twitch. Uh, PS Woods, thank you very much if you watch this video. Uh, yay! Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video there. Uh, let's wrap it up on a high note. Um, I just noticed that, that that particular monkey had its uh, left shoulder and left leg bitten off. Oh! Um, poor monkey. Although, monkey killed my colony, so I've got a slight low opinion of monkeys. Yeah. Oh, I will also say that um, in this game, you can put humans in your freezer um, and then cut them up for meat and make food out of them. And I'm pretty sure someone has got a. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Luckwin, one of my long time viewers, got a human leather cowboy hat. We, we we don't talk to him much. <laughs> anyway, enjoy. Uh, if you can afford the game, because it is a little bit pricey uh, for, an, for an early release. That's the only real negative I have against the game. It's a little bit too pricey in my opinion. But if you can afford it, buy the game. You're going to love it. It's worth every penny. Goodbye.